Welcome back to the channel. We're an adventure with Nick and Rachel and we bring you the best places to hike and explore in the Southeast and more. So if you're into that kind of thing, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because we bring you weekly videos just like this. Today we're in Short Springs State Natural Area near Tuloma, Tennessee and we are going to be doing the Busby and Machine Falls Loop Trail. It's a little over two miles and we get to see two beautiful waterfalls. So let's go check them out. So the parking lot isn't super big. There's maybe 20 to 30 parking spots um, and you're not supposed to park down the road, um, but there were people that did. Uh, so if you want to do this um, area, definitely get here early. We are here in the afternoon. We're here around, around lunchtime and the parking lot was packed out. So we sat in the parking lot for a while waiting for somebody to come back so we could take their parking spot. So if you wanna, do this area, definitely make sure you get here early so you can get a parking spot. Ever since we started hiking, we haven't discriminated on trails based off popularity of all trails. We have come across some great hidden gems out there on some lesser known trails, and Machine Falls on this trail happens to be one of them. Are there any trails out there where you've had a similar experience? Let us know in the comments. So we're walking around and there's like some high cliff bluff right here like straight down drop into the river pretty well we can't really see it too great from where we're at but if you get down there <coughs> the laurel bluff yeah probably peeled open an acorn pull it apart it's so pretty it looks so yummy i just want to eat it Rachel wants to eat it <laughs> like a little squirrel. It's perfect. It looks like a little hazelnut. It looks something you would buy in the store, huh? Mm-hmm. Just looks like it would be tasty on the <laughs> Well, don't eat it because I don't want you getting sick. It's probably bitter anyway. You just bite it. <laughs> what it tastes like. Spit it out. Nothing? Nothing. <laughs> so that waterfall that we saw from the trail that we couldn't really see very well, that ended up being Busby Falls. So we kind of walked past it. You can see it's like on that, we missed that little cutoff where we could go into Laurel Loop or Laurel Bluff trail to see it and get a better view so what we are going to do is continue on to see machine falls um, and while we were looking at the map we saw adams falls up there so we're going to go see machine falls head up see adams falls and then come back and get on that trail to go see busby falls so we're going to turn this trail that was originally two waterfalls into three waterfalls So right there is Machine Falls. You get an okay look from the overlook, uh, but we're gonna head down and see it from the base because it looks like you get a pretty good view from the base up. So this is where we branch off and we're gonna go see Adams Falls and then we're gonna backtrack and go back and see Busby Falls, the one that we missed. Um, and then we're gonna leave this park and go see another waterfall in the area, but that'll be its own separate video. So you can check that one out. We'll link it down below once that's out. Um, but it's gonna be a separate video because it's like five minutes down the road. It's called It'll be Rutledge on our channel Falls. somewhere. Yeah, yeah, Rutledge Falls. So look out for Rutledge Falls. So we've made it. Um, our map says it should be right there, but it's not. Uh, it's a little dried up. A lot dried up. So. <laughs> That's bone dry. What you talking about? A little. <laughs> so, 
Um, we added on probably an extra mile to this trip after we get back. We did it all for you. So hopefully. So now it's back to two waterfalls, <laughs> not three. Two waterfalls. Um, hopefully, if you guys come out here, um, just check. Maybe, hopefully, you come and it's been raining for a little bit and then it'll be flowing. So. Usually, we do our research and we would have known if that was flowing or not. But I um, didn't know we didn't even know about that waterfalls until I zoomed in on the map and seen it mm -hmm. that it was a connector to this trail that we were already on so I was like let's walk out there and check it out so when some and we didn't some. we didn't have any service to check and see so we risked it and this time there was no biscuit <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah anyway definitely check next time or before you come at least I hear water I think but I don't see anything so that's the problem there might be some water down there in the, the bottom I just don't see a waterfall. I mean, well, there is like a lake and river near here, so that's probably yeah. what that is. I'm assuming that the waterfall comes off of that because the river, I can see there's water right there and there's no waterfall in front of it. So I'm pretty sure it's just probably trickling down through there and making its way, but it's not like gushing, so you can't really see it. Even though we added a few extra miles to our hike and it didn't really pan out, we still got to enjoy a moment by the river and sit in this beautiful spot with the breeze blowing and the leaves falling. Sometimes things don't always work out the way you expect on hikes and you don't get to see what all you want to see. But every hike offers moments where you can sit back and enjoy nature. Small moments or big moments, every hike and second in nature is worth it to us. There's like little freshwater snails all over the wall. <laughs> Yeah, they're like all over the wall on the waterfall. Is that a bathing suit? Oh, 100% up in that water. Very clear. But not even kidding. Like, I would get in there. It's still very. I would get in there. I'd probably get all sticks out and play around in there for a while. <laughs> I need to start putting a bathing suit in my camera bag. I got yeah. a towel on the wall, I don't bring a bathing suit. So right behind me is Busby Falls. You don't really get a good look at it from um, either side of the trail, so Laurel um, Loop or the Busby Falls Trail. Um, so definitely come in the winter when the leaves are off the trees you'll probably get a better view of it then uh, so if you do come and the leaves are still on the trees you will definitely get to see machine falls and that one is really cool to see and you get to go down to the base of it and see the base of the falls which is really pretty um, so that was a really awesome waterfall to see so thank you guys for joining us to see machine falls um, sorry we couldn't see the other two falls but we tried um, and hopefully the next time if you come to this area you'll get to see all three of them which would be awesome so thank you guys for joining us we look forward to seeing you on our next adventure